More than 140,000 people in Wisconsin have recovered from the coronavirus. That includes one of our own. News 8 Now's Mel Meyer wondered if he could be reinfected and how long lingering symptoms might last. He brought those questions to the experts for this News 8 Now investigation. Earlier this month, I contracted the coronavirus, but am now considered recovered, meaning I can finally leave the house. But while my symptoms improved, questions remained, and the answers could impact my health and others. Like when might all my symptoms go away? I still don't have taste or smell, and sometimes it's hard to catch my breath. Dr. Elizabeth Cogbill with Gunderson Health System says some symptoms might last longer, anywhere from weeks to months after the initial infection. This is an area that's being researched actively. If they do continue, she recommends contacting a primary care physician. If I were to be feeling sick again, it could be signs of something else like the flu, a secondary bacterial illness, or potentially fibrosis or scarring of the lungs. Which we're seeing even in young young patients um, who are relatively healthy uh, months down the road. Could I still be spreading the virus? Gunderson Health System recommends you isolate at least 10 full days since your symptoms started, your symptoms are improving, and are fever-free for at least 24 hours without taking any medicine. After that, the CDC says recovered people can still shed detectable coronavirus RNA in upper respiratory specimens for up to three months after onset, but infectiousness is unlikely. That shedded particle of the virus, when you try to grow it, it does not yield that toxic virus that is contagious. Could I be reinfected? Only a blood test would show if I have antibodies. That would show if my immune system developed a response to the virus, and that was still evident in my blood, usually weeks to months later. However, it's important to note that not everyone who has the coronavirus will necessarily have an antibody detected in their blood. And it's unclear if I could be reinfected. There are now documented cases of reinfection, but it is still being studied. Not enough time has passed since this pandemic began for us to really definitively answer that question. So should I be following guidelines to stop the spread? Yes, absolutely. Because it's unclear if people could contract the coronavirus again, it's important to keep washing your hands, wearing a mask, and avoiding large gatherings for the remainder of the pandemic. All of those things remain very, very important for all of us. We don't understand how, how this is all playing out. We need more information. We need to listen to the scientists. In La Crosse for News 8 Now Investigates, I'm Mal Meyer. So if you do test positive, you might want to consider donating plasma. It is being evaluated for a possible treatment for current COVID-19 patients. Organizations like the American Red Cross and Versity are seeking donors.